I'm going to fast forward and tell you a lot of this story. So when you get a chance, if you would read this, this is Genesis chapter 42 up to Genesis chapter 50. All the things that Joseph had said were going to take place did actually take place. There was the time of abundance and there was this time of famine. So Joseph's brothers who are back home get to the point to where they need food and Jacob, their father, recognized that. So he sends them to Egypt and what they don't realize is they're actually going before Joseph. Now Joseph recognizes them but they don't recognize Joseph. Joseph takes one step after another, treats them as spies, they go back and forth and one thing leads to another and Jacob realizes and finally gets to see his son Joseph who he thought was dead and yet is alive. And all of the dreams that Joseph had interpreted from way, way, way back are actually true. Jacob is obviously happy now, he gets to see his son, the whole family is together, but the sons are at the point where they're like, you know what, um, we're not sure we can trust this guy. And yet over and over and over, Joseph proves himself to be a man of God. He chooses to be a person of character. He chooses to be a person of integrity. How is it that we choose to react in different circumstances? When it comes to time with our spouse, when it comes to dealing with our kids, when it comes time at work, even in our community, in our everyday walk. Where is it that God is trying to show us, this is how I want you to be? I want you to be that person of integrity who sets himself apart. And that person who lives in such a way that the only way that could be happening is that it's God doing so. Because we rest in him. Tomorrow's our final day as we finish up Joseph. We'll see you then.